welcome to the session. In this session, we will learn about operations on sets. First of all, let us learn what is a union of sets. If A and B are two sets, then the set A union B is the set containing elements that are either in A or in B or in both A and B. Now A, B and B is denoted by A union B. Now this is the symbol of union. So we can write A union B is a set containing the element X such that X belongs to A or X belongs to B. Now let us see one example for this. Here let A is a set containing the elements 1, 3, 5 and 7 and B is a set containing the elements 2, 4, 6 and 8. Then by the definition of union, A union B will be the set containing the elements which are either in A or in B or in both A and B. So this will be a set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now let us see one more example. Now here, let A is a set of letters of the word cook. And B is a set of the letters of the word Austria. And C is a set of the letters of the word smart. Now A is a set of letters of the word quotes. Therefore, set A is a set containing the elements C, O, K and S. And B is a set of the letters of the word Austria. Therefore, B is a set containing the elements A, U, S, T, R, and I. And C is the set of letters of word smart. Therefore, C is a set containing the elements S, M, A, R and T. Now here, we have to find A union B. Now A union B is a set containing the elements which are either in A or in B or both in A and B. So this is equal to the set containing the elements C, O, K, S, A, U, T, R and I. And in this case, the repeated element, that is the element which is common to both the sets, is listed once. And here if we have to find out 
A union C, so A union C will be equal to the set containing the elements which are either in A or in C or in both A and C. So A union C will be equal to the set containing the elements C, O, K, S, M, A, R and T. Now there are some points that we should remember while dealing with the union of sets. For any subset A, of the universal set Xi, first point that we should remember is A union, the empty set phi is equal to the set A. Secondly, A union, the universal set Xi is equal to the universal set Xi. And also, A union A is equal to the set A. Now let us discuss what is intersection of sets. Now the intersection of two sets A and B is the set of all these elements which are common to both A and B. Now A intersection B is denoted by A intersection B. Now this is the symbol for the intersection. So A intersection B is a set containing the element X such that X belongs to A and X belongs to B. Now let us see an example for this. Here let A is a set of letters of the word camp. And B is the set of letters of the word Camera. Therefore, as A is a set of letters of the word can, so the set A is a set containing the elements C, A, M and P. And B is the set of letters of the word camera. So B will be equal to the set containing the elements C, A, M, E and R. Now, by the definition of A intersection B, A intersection B is the set containing the elements which are common to both A and B. Now here the elements which are common to both A and B are C, A and M. So A intersection B will be equal to the set containing the elements C, A and M. Now let us see one more example. Let A is a set containing the elements A, E, I, O and U and B is a set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now A intersection B is a set containing the elements which are common to both A and B. Now here 
You can see that there are no elements which are common to both A and B. So A intersection B is an empty set. That means it is a set with no elements. So it is equal to the empty set phi. Now there are some points to remember while dealing with the intersection of sets. The first point is a intersection with empty set phi is equal to the empty set phi. And next, A intersection the universal set xi is equal to the set A. And next, A intersection A is equal to the set A. So we have discussed intersection and union of sets. Now we will discuss one more example using union and intersection of sets. Let A is a set of prime numbers less than 11 And B is the set of numbers on a dice. Therefore, as A is the set of prime numbers less than 11, so A is a set containing the elements 2, 3, 5 and 7. As these are the prime numbers less than 11. And B is the set of numbers on the dice and we know that the numbers on the dice are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So B is equal to the set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now A union B is a set containing the elements which are either in A or in B or in both A and B. So this will be equal to the set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. And A intersection B is the set containing those elements which are common to both A and B. So the elements which are common to both A and B are 2, 3, and 5. So A intersection B will be equal to the set containing the elements 2, 3 and 5. So in this session you have learned about union and intersection of sets. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.